So is the main stem of the Columbia right here. You're looking at Washington State. We're gonna paddle in the main stem just up to the dock. Then we'll turn around and paddle down the slough to Port Westward, which is the port that's involved in two of the five coal export proposals that we're facing, two of the Oregon proposals. Does everyone have a button for their life jacket? I'm Daryl Whipple, and I live just about five miles from Mager Dock, where we stand today. When I think about Bradbury Slough being a transport uh, route for coal barges, I think that degrades the whole recreational experience for everybody, not just bird watchers, but kayakers and uh, fishermen and anybody that likes to enjoy the magnificent Columbia River. Two of the five coal export proposals in the Northwest would run through Columbia County, one by rail and one by river. Both would transfer coal to ocean-going ships in the Columbia, but Amber Energy's river proposal would have coal barges constantly staging over important salmon spawning habitat that taxpayers spent millions of dollars restoring, and the coal companies have no contingency plan for a spill. So right over there is Port Westward, where Amber Energy and Kinder Morgan plan to ship U.S. coal overseas to Asia. This is where the barges and the Panamax vessels will be staged if these projects go through. I've lived here for 40 years and I don't want to see this uh, become a coal export route. Governor Kitzhopper has the power to protect our river by denying the permits needed to build coal export terminals. He needs to hear from you. Go to Power Pass Coal and have your voice heard today. Tell Governor Kitzhopper, no coal on our Columbia.